Hi and good morning and welcome to Drelkill Cricket Club Car Park because today we're going to do the recce of the second leg of the Bob Graham round. So we leave the car park and we head down the track at the side, right next to the sewage works, which hopefully won't be the best view we see today. We've got quite a lot of summits to hit, first one being Clough Head. which we're heading for now and then we've got the Dodds uh, Great Dodd, Watson Dodd and Stay Barrow we've actually brought them on his hand so we know and then hopefully we'll get to Dunmail Rise just in time for the wife to pick us up. It's very cold this morning, so we have gone for some gloves. Nice little downhill start. And over a little bridge. So we've started the first climb up to Clough Head. I think we've got about five and a half thousand foot to do today. And that's probably over about 13 and a half miles. We'll see at the end. We're still on a little bit of road at the minute. We are heading up there. Turn off the path now towards this gate and a little crossing. So we're on the fell and start that climb up. Let's get it done. We're still on, on the climb up to Clough Head, but I just wanted to show you that view behind us. Look at that. That's not bad, is it? So, I don't know if you can see, but we're following that path up there. See you at the top. We're just on the steep bit of the climb now. I'm just curious, is this the actual steepest climb on, on the route? I know the one up to Fairfield, that, that'll give it a run for its money. But, come from. He's got to be close. One foot in front of the other. So we're leaving the summit. We're going to head now. It's a decent bit of running now. Awesome to go. Started raining, which 
won't be one of my fell runs without a bit of rain. Let's get going again. So we've come down off Clough Head now and we're just starting the climb up to, to Great Dodd, which is up there. But Clough Head is, well, it counts for a lot of the elevation. if you can see that but yeah so we've got 2,000 foot done which is us three and a half thousand to go so we're just about to summit great dad it's very windy but I hope you can hear us you can see To Clough Head. Oh. So we're almost at the top now. And then we should have a nice runnable section over. Right, so we're in a little sheepfold now at the top of Great Dodd. Just gonna have some original Kendall mint. Just uh, while we're a bit out of the wind. One thing I do forget when the weather's like this is to actually drink and just push on and neglect the eating and drinking part of it which is something I'm gonna to have to get better at <sighs> yeah. I've still actually got some decent views around and about the clouds are actually still quite high today but on in a minute after we've had something to eat and drink we've put the bottoms on because it's freezing I'll see you in a bit so that's Watson dad done two hours to get to this point so we've still got about six miles still to go so well we've got a nice little runnable bit got 
a nice little ridge run now. There we go. So the wind's died down a little bit, he says. And it seems to have warmed up a little as well. Still getting the odd coast. There's still a complete white out. I'm sure it should be a lovely view. But not at the moment. So just taking this opportunity to get out of the wind for five minutes. A little bit more to eat. Stop what you say. Ah. There's, there's not much to see. So maybe one day on these videos, I might be able to show you some views. <laughs> not today. still quite a few people up here actually past a few people on the way across um, which I'm a bit surprised at with the weather not just me daft enough to be up here but that's all we've got left to go so I've got another four and a half miles to do for a bit later on. Right, so that's uh, two hours, 20 done. Let's move on. Only two climbs left. It's a bit rocky. <laughs> uh. oh. So that'll be me falling over again. I'm gonna have to start watching what I'm doing. But yeah, two climbs left. We've got Fairfield. And then seat sandal up there. A uh, couple of big climbs and then we're done. Must be fall over again, obviously. Right, let's get going. Right. So I did just want to bring you one one good view from the day. So I'll get out of the way. that beautiful it's gonna be a good climb up into those clouds again we're getting there so I thought I'd film a little bit of the climb for you because there's no way I'm not going to be able to film any of this on the way down <laughs> not without falling on my backside again anyway oh, what a beautiful sight the summit of Fairfield oh yeah And 
fantastic. So that's three hours 15 in. So we've done just short of uh, 12 miles and about 5,700 foot of elevation. So I am, I'm gonna have to hurry up now because otherwise my lift's gonna be very cross at me. But oh, top of Fairfield, one more to go and we're on his way down. Brilliant. <laughs> So that's the last, last of the summit's done. So our seat sandals finished. All we've got now is a little descent to the car. I can't decide which one of those climbs was the hardest. Fairfield seat sandal or Clefed. Seat sandal was steep and a bit rocky but it was only a short one I think Clefed because it goes on longer it seemed to go on forever but Fairfield's just really tricky underfoot just loose Loose scree all the way up. But they're done. So we're down. We're in Dunmail Rise. So Garmin says 40 miles in about 355 and 6,100 foot of elevation done. That looks a bit intimidating though if this is the start point for the next leg. Uh, yeah. So, if you've liked this video, and if you want to see the, uh, the next one, subscribe below for us, press the like button. That'd really help us out. And, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much.